Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Today, Jim is doing something new with Baron. He is going to put him on the shoeing stocks, and he's going to put some hip, hip. front shoes bye. on Baron. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. He's been working him in the woods. He feels like he needs Come his hooves protected. Come here. Here, just hold his rope, please. So there's going to be a lot of new things for Baron this morning. Yep. Get up. Yep. So this is going to be Baron's first. This is actually his second or third time he's been in the stock. I brought him in a few times just to get him used to it. This is the first time I've actually hitched the chains up underneath him and around him. Um, so it's all very new to him. Okay. Okay. So my plan with him is to just attempt to get front shoes on him. And I'll show you how I do it. I probably won't even explain that much of how I'm doing the actual shoeing and stuff. If, you know, so many people can do this job so much better than I. And uh, there's YouTube videos about that out there that you can go on to and learn more about shoeing. Um, okay. But I will talk about what I'm specifically doing with him. I bought him last year as a three-year-old. He'd never had his feet handled. Um, we have handled his feet some. The sun is quite bright here. We have handled his feet some, but not a lot. Um, he's definitely not one that I could just shoe him on the ground at this stage even. So um, because of our busyness, and I know a lot of people will think this is awful, and it is awful. Um, this is actually going to be the first time he's ever had his feet trimmed. Now, if you look at his feet, though, he's got excellent feet. Excellent feet all around. And I've been logging with him a little bit, and he's broke up his front feet a tiny little bit, but just nothing serious at all. Um, but he could go even continue going barefoot, I'm fairly convinced. But I do want to get shoes on him. So I'm going to put some front shoes on him today if all goes well. I might get him up, his feet up there, and he fights it so bad I can't even go on to the, you know, I might not be able to do it. I don't know. Um, but I'll show you what happens. Um, I have chosen to just put his front shoes on because uh, it's a start. It's just a start. And with the front shoes on, it's going to protect his front feet. I am not going to put his hind shoes on quite yet, although I wouldn't be surprised, depending on how it goes. I might do it fairly soon because I've got some road work to do with them because I've got a, we, we have a, a wood lot up the road and I've got to go cut some logs and and haul them home. Um, so he is going to have to do some road work. So because of that, I probably, if I possibly can, I probably will get the hind shoes on also. The reason I'm hesitant to put the hind shoes on is as I told you earlier a few weeks ago, he kicked me. Now I think I know why he kicked me, but it just, it just makes me think, well, maybe I don't want his shoes on quite yet. So I am not putting on big pulling shoes, logging shoes that my horses have during the winter months. He will have them probably next winter, but for this summer, I'm just gonna use flat shoes. So my neighbor down the road, I showed you that in the other video, he actually carries these shoes. So um, these are actually what they call number five shoes. And what he generally does and sells is shoes that are all dressed. So he has drill techs on the toe and on the heel. Um, that makes a good shoe. They, the Amish use them a lot on the roads just to protect the horse's feet. Um, it doesn't give them a lot of traction because they don't have that good toe clip, toe cork that my big, big shoes have. But for what they'll be doing mostly this summer, and they'll be doing some logging, but still, these shoes work perfectly fine. I have decided, though, and this may be a dumb thing, I don't know, but I have decided to use just a plate. A plate meaning nothing, it's not dressed. It doesn't have any drill checks on. Now I know and I realize that it's gonna wear out a lot faster. 
and I'm also have a little bit concerned with the nails whether or not how flush they'll go in here so but even that doesn't bother me because I know it'll work fine but the reason why I'm thinking about doing this is I have some mares to breed with him and I am not concerned with him breeding a mare with his front shoes on if they're shoe like this they're all fairly smooth um, if I used a shoe like this with this drill text it's kind of ragged and, and it's just there's edges here and he's more apt to um, cut the mare when he mounts her um, so I, I don't really want that now I could put a boot on their foot to stop that um, but if I have good control of him when he's breeding I, I'm really not too concerned with his shoes especially if it's a flat shoe like this years ago I had a pair of stallions that I, I worked together and they did quite a lot of breeding and we had pulling shoes on them and I actually bred a lot of mares right with their pulling shoes on with never an issue at all. I'm not certain it couldn't have happened, but that's what happened. That, it did not happen. So one other thing before I get started is these shoes, this is a five and this is a five also. Because of my bigger horses, these fives uh, like this don't very often fit. We have to take them and spread them out considerably to make them work. See the difference in the size, it's, it's pretty big. But they don't make a six in this particular size of shoe. They, I can get a heavier, thicker shoe that is, comes in a six, of course, but I don't want them. I, might, I like these nice light shoes just for the easy ease of handling for myself and for them. So um, I'm gonna probably live with this. Baron's feet are smaller than my Belgians and my Partron's feet. So because of that, I won't have to spread this so much. Maybe I won't even have to spread it at all. I don't know. So I'm gonna to get to work at it and I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. Uh, I'm probably not gonna talk that much because I don't feel like it, uh, to, tell you, <laughs> to, to tell you the honest truth. You know, these videos, um, these are great and all, and, and I hope I can share things with you guys, but videos are, are some days, for me, they're harder than doing the actual work. I mean, I'm not a talker. I don't have, most of the days I don't even like to talk. And so this forces me to talk and kind of explain what I'm doing. Brenda is so much better at talking, but uh, she doesn't know what's going on as well, of course. But uh, so anyway, some days I just don't feel like talking. And to make the amount of videos that I make, I, I really get sick of it at times. So uh, I, I still want to make videos and show you what I'm doing, but I'm some days. Don't be surprised if I don't talk a lot. So this is going to be the very, very, very first time his foot has ever been lifted up and held in place in the stocks. And there's times where horses do not like this. Okay. It's all right. 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 Okay, I can see I'm gonna have to spread that shoe a little bit. But uh, who knows who 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 knows if we'll even get to that point today. I would like to. All right. Please. Hip, 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 hip. 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 
Got a great hoof. Um, he has been worked quite a bit, even on the black top. So his hoof has worn down pretty decent, which is just fine. I am not, nor do I need to, as far as I'm concerned. Do a perfect job here. I do want to spread these heels a little bit. On this shoe, it sits fairly flat and fairly nice. I'll take this edge off here after I get the shoe on. But this is a little too much there. And on this side also, so I'm going to spread that shoe a little bit. I'm going to let his foot down while I do that. The problem with letting him down okay, is will he pick it back up again? If he doesn't help you, can you pull that up by yourself? Uh, yeah, there's another trick I can do if, if he really causes trouble. Bend him in the knee? No, I'll show you. Because I'm sure it will cause me trouble. This is really pretty good so far. Yeah. Actually, so this is a little bit more time consuming, but I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to jump over there and trim that other front foot up a little bit. And then come back and get the shoes widened out. And then maybe slap them on. Part of the trick I found when they pick their feet is you get their toe and kind of bend it pretty hard. It helps them hold their foot up there, it seems like, for some reason. Come here. Help. 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 He's putting his feet up good and doing quite well. Um, we, like I said, we have food with some on the floor to get him to pick his feet up. But uh, he's just never been that good. So I knew I'd have to 
put them in here and I don't really care even if these are perfect horses for us picking their feet up these stocks are still a lot easier on me so if people are asking do you do this for the horse's sake or my sake I most definitely do it for my sake and uh, I don't really care if people think I should do it the other way around definitely sounding a little bit grumpy this morning but he's he's all right i'm not grumpy he's not grumpy he's just <clears throat> he's just pretty much being himself but i personally think that it must be nice for them to have something to rest their leg on after they get used to this they just have to trust you that you know this isn't jail or whatever but um, we've had people say this is cruel to put them in here. I would disagree with that. When I go to the dentist, I like to have a bite block in my mouth or whatever to hold, help hold my mouth open when he's working on it. That's the worst part of the whole thing. And this is kind of the same thing. Barry, you're doing really good. almost like Bar Baron's going to the military. He's getting all, having to do all this training and all this <laughs> stuff. Get ready to work. Yeah. 
So if you're wondering why I didn't take him up to Eli's, I could have. But this is his first shoe, and so I wanted to do it myself. Okay, I'm liking that. Just gonna widen these heels. Let's see if we can. Okay. Hey. 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 So I wanted to show you guys what we were kindly given by some of our viewers. Um, it's a kind of a sad day because for me because we took down Buck's sign, which he's been gone for a little while now, and it's time to um, change out his sign. So here's his sign, and I'll show you the new sign that's up. And look what somebody gave us. I want to get the glare off of this. I'm afraid there's going to be glare on this, but this is a photo. This is not a photo. This is a picture that was drawn by a woman named Angie Beachy, and she sent it to us. And I'm going to put a picture in the newsletter. So if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, feel free to sign up. I'll show you a better um, picture of this sketch that Angie Beachy drew of Buck. Doesn't it look just like him? It is so beautiful when I opened it up. Um, I almost cried because it's so much, such a likeness to him. All the way down to the little notch above his halter that he has and um, it just his eyes look just like him so Angie Beachy thank you so much for this beautiful drawing and I don't think we're gonna we're gonna keep it in the house because I'm afraid it will get ruined out here in the barn and it is just gorgeous thank you so much and we have a new sign for Baron we had a, a nice man named Daryl Stevenson that gave us a sign for Baron. And um, now things are back to where they should be. And he also gave us signs for Duke and Earl, which we are going to save until they are in their more permanent location. And we're not sure exactly where that's going to be. But we do thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daryl and Angie, for what you have given to us. It's very, very kind and very, very special. We miss Buck. But it is a way of things. And life goes on. And here's Norman, our house cat, who's not supposed to be out here. It's kind of scaring Baron to death, banging right in front of him, on a right in front of him. But I guess that's what has to be done. One, one other training thing. ready to try it. I'm not they're quite a bit wider and I think they're wide enough but I won't know till I try. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hip. Come here. Hip 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 hip
glad you're not doing all four today. Yeah, it's better just two at a time. For Get some used to it bit by bit. For him and you. You call me old. No, just thinking of your best interest. Okay. It could be a little wider, but I think I like it right there. Looks good. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> These nails are so tiny. I'm used to a lot, lot, lot bigger nail with the other shoe. Second nail is so crucial. The first nail I can twist the shoe to get it straight, but the second one I can't. Just tell. A blacksmith taught me one time that you just put like a nail on each side and then you trim up the hoof. And if you do it the way I'm going to do it today, he calls it a farmer's shoeing job. But I guess. Okay. I guess that's what I am anyways. So I guess it's just a farmer's shoeing job. It's just, it's hard to do a nice cleanup job with the ends and the nails in the hoof. He's doing good, but this beating on his foot and the noise, he's not used to that. because I don't do a lot of <laughs> nailing. Okay, that nail did not come out. Wait. Maybe I feel it. Take a chance. These are awful short nails. For these horses. <laughs> and you got to make sure the nail comes out the side. And if it doesn't, definitely got to take it out. And uh, this one, I think, was just starting to pop through, but I'm not going to take the chance. So that'll end up going right down that same hole. But I'm just going to put a bit of a bend on the nail. And then it can start down that same hole. And it should come right out the side. problem. If you saw that. 
I'm not getting any closer right now. <laughs> okay. A few more nails. We'll be done. Hey, guy. I hadn't noticed until I watched this video how much he was actually turning his head in the shoe and stocks and putting his head behind that front beam, which he is not supposed to do. I used to have these stocks turned so that we were pointing to the wall and I would tie the horse to the wall and that worked really good. But I've had them turned this way for a while now and it's fine for my older horses. But for my young horses, I'm going to have to do something different. Um, they could get into a lot of trouble if they try to turn around in these stocks. Almost done. So what I'm gonna do now, Brenda, if you wanna get around here, just take off these edges around the outside. Let's smooth it up a little bit. Like I said, I'm not worried about doing it perfect. Don't you bite me. Hoop. 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 Hey, let's get you out of there. Come on. Hoop. Nope, hey. hey, almost done. Oh. oh, no, no, what was that piece from? Oh. Um, over here somewhere. Oh. I don't know exactly. There we go. It be the thing now. Over here. Oh. You're not behaving. Stay right this head, Brenda. No, actually. <clears throat> there we go. Almost done. Be good. <sighs> so now I just got to clench the nails and we'll be done enough. <sighs> Okay, so the nail is on, nails are in, nails are clinched. What do you think? I clipped it somewhat on the bottom. Now what I'd like to do, and what I would normally do, is put the foot right up here and take the rasp and just make it a little bit nice looking. So we'll see what happens with this. There we go. You're doing good, just behave. Might be hard to get his foot up here. That doesn't look very comfortable. It's just for a minute. I know. It's just for a second, babe. Okay? Hip.
Boy, yep. All right, guy, one more time. One more shoe. Have you seen better and seen worse, or how would you say he's so Oh, my now? goodness, I've seen a lot better. I mean, my little rocky horse of years ago, um, I was having trouble shoeing him, and I was shooting him on the ground at the time. I didn't have a set of stocks. So I took it to a friend of mine that had a set of stocks, and I put him in those stocks about three or four times before I got a set of my own. And he shaked and wrecked that thing so bad, and... I mean, one time he came out and he couldn't walk for two weeks. He was just so lame just because of his foolishness and, and just him hurting himself in the stocks just because he didn't have the patience to stand still because a horse can definitely pull muscles in this fighting process, obviously. But Baron's doing pretty good. Right, it's a learning and a trust situation. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. And we have to trust the stocks. Come on, guy. 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 people can see this little bit of red right here that's not unusual you you'll get a little bit of sometimes you get a tiny little bit of blood right there See it, but I got crooked. That is. If you watch an old blacksmith, I mean, maybe not all of them, but I can remember mine from years and years and years ago. He'd be squinting down shoes so much of his life, like this, one-eyed. He just had some weird-looking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. It's from the years of squinting. Yeah, we got it. But one beauty about these light, light shoes, it's so easy to, to bend them around and put them in the shape we want them to be. Okay. I think I'm gonna live with that. And Baron's probably like, well, you hurry up and get going. I know what's coming next now. Let's get it done.
Have you ever been bit while you were doing this? I don't think so. I could see it happening though. Boy, he's been good. One more nail, guy. On the last hoof, I didn't do it, but he's acting a little bit better on this one, so I'm going to. I like to use this piece right here, put behind my nail, makes a better clinch. I just start the nail bending with this and then clinch it with the clincher. coat on anymore either so I don't trust them as far as I could throw them and I show you I can't throw them very far he's leaning right into the stocks now yep almost all done hey, good. hey 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 get your nose over there <laughs> get your nose over there yeah, it's your nose over there. Okay. Whew, had a boy. So now we're just bringing up and see if we can't get a little bit of trimming there. It's 
So in the position he's in, I gotta bring that other foot up a little bit for him to come comfortably on this side. Come here. Out of way. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here, last thing to do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hip. Come on. Come on. Hip. Atta boy. Atta boy. Only for a sec, Darren. You. So for those that don't know, a rasp, which is what I have in my hand, has two sides with teeth on both sides. But the one side is for steel and the other side is for just the hoof. So when I want to do this finishing up and I'm hitting the nails, I will flip it to that side. And this is for the hoof. That's funny, I would have said it was the other way around. Because that seems so much rougher. So that first little bit, I try to get off with the... with the... hoof stuff. Side? Yep. Side. So often with horses, at least drafts, you always end up taking a lot right off that corner. At least I do, because I don't want that big flare. The show people have that big flare, but if you're working in the woods and whatnot, it sets where it's going to break off. So I don't want that. Okay. We are done, fella. What do you think, Barry? This is, this is one of those times and situations where I have to force myself to stop. He's doing good. He did great. No catastrophes. And uh, I'm tempted to go on to the Heinz, but I'm not going to. I think I'll give it a week or so, and then we'll tackle them. And at that point, I'll decide, do I want to just trim them or do I want to throw shoes on the hinds also? But I'll let them get used to the fronts for a week or so. And uh, it's good because he's coming out of this with a, a good experience and no, nothing major. And so that's great. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day. Back up, back, back up, back, back, come here. Come here. Beautiful, come on. It's time to harness up and get to work.